Want to teach your cat some cool tricks? Contrary to popular belief, cats are not just independent, aloof creatures. They can learn tricks and commands, much like our canine friends. It's a common misconception that cats can't be trained, but with patience and the right techniques, you can teach your feline friend to perform a variety of tasks and tricks. Training your cat provides more than just entertainment. It's a form of mental stimulation that cats need to keep their minds sharp. It also strengthens your bond with your cat. Training sessions can be a special time of interaction and communication between you and your pet. It's a way to understand each other better and build a deeper connection. So, are you ready to tap into your cat's hidden potential? Yes, your cat can learn tricks and commands and we'll show you how. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of cat training. Before we dive into the tricks, there are a few things you need to know. Training your feline friend requires patience and lots of it. Cats, unlike dogs, are independent creatures and may not respond immediately to your commands. But don't let this discourage you. With persistence, you'll soon see progress. Positive reinforcement is the key to successful cat training. Rewarding your cat when they follow a command encourages them to repeat the behavior in the future. The best rewards? Treats, of course, cats love them. Remember, timing is crucial. Give the treat immediately after they perform the command, not later. When should you train your cat? Ideally, before mealtimes when they're more likely to be motivated by food rewards. However, keep the sessions short, about five minutes, to keep their interest peaked. So arm yourself with a bag of treats, a bucket full of patience, and an unwavering spirit. With some treats and a lot of patience, you're ready to start training. The first command we're going to teach your cat is sit. Now let's break down the steps to teaching this fundamental command. It's easier than you might think, but it will require some patience and consistency on your part. To start, you'll need your cat's favorite treat. This will be your primary tool for motivation and reward. Make sure it's something they truly love, as the more enticing the treat, the more likely they are to follow your command. Next, you'll need to get your cat's attention. Hold the treat above their head, just out of reach. This should cause your cat to look up at the treat, and as they do, their bottom will naturally start to lower towards the ground. If they jump up instead, don't worry. Just lower the treat a bit and try again. As your cat's bottom touches the ground, that's when you give the command. In a clear, firm voice, say, sit. It's important to use the same tone and volume each time you give this command. Cats are very attuned to your voice, so consistency is key. Once your cat has sat down, immediately give them the treat and praise them enthusiastically. This immediate reward will reinforce the connection in your cat's mind between the action of sitting and the reward. The goal is for your cat to understand that when they hear the command sit, a treat is on its way if they perform the correct action. Now, it's time for reinforcement. Repeat these steps multiple times a day, but keep the training sessions short and fun. Cats have a relatively short attention span, so it's best to keep sessions to around five minutes at a time. Remember, the key to successful cat training is patience and consistency. Don't be discouraged if your cat doesn't get it right away. It might take a few sessions before they start to understand what you're asking them to do. But with time and practice, your cat will start to sit on command, which can be a great step towards other commands and tricks. With practice, your cat will start sitting on command. Next, we're going to teach your cat to give a high five. Yes, you heard it right, a high five from your cat. It's not only an adorable trick, but it's also a fun way to engage with your feline friend. Let's start with the basics. First, find a quiet, comfortable space where your cat feels at ease. This will help them focus on you and the task at hand. Remember, patience is key here. Cats are not dogs. They tend to have their own pace when it comes to learning new tricks. Now, hold your cat's favorite treat in your hand and make sure they see it. You want to get their full attention. Next, close your fingers around the treat leaving only a small part visible. This will make your cat curious, and they will try to get the treat out of your hand. Here's where the magic happens. As your cat reaches out to paw at the treat, say the command high five in a clear, enthusiastic voice. The moment their paw touches your hand, open it up and let them have the treat. This is their reward for following the command. Consistency is crucial in this process. Repeat the steps several times, always using the same command. You might need to guide your cat's paw to your hand in the early stages, but over time, they will understand what you expect from them. Don't forget to shower your cat with praise when they successfully give you a high five. Cats, just like us, love to be appreciated. A little praise can go a long way in motivating them to learn new tricks. Remember, 
every cat is unique. Some might pick up the trick in a day or two, while others might take a couple of weeks. It's important to respect your cat's pace and never force them into doing something they're not comfortable with. Training your cat to high-five is not just about the trick itself. It's about spending quality time with your furry friend, understanding their behavior, and strengthening your bond. Before you know it, your cat will be giving you high fives. So, keep practicing, stay patient, and above all, have fun. The final command we're going to teach your cat is come. Now, teaching your cat to come when called is not just a cute trick for impressing friends, but a practical skill that can keep your furry friends safe. It's useful during vet visits, outdoor adventures, and even in emergencies. Let's break down the steps to teaching this command. First off, you'll need your cat's favorite treat, something irresistible, like a small piece of cooked chicken or a dollop of canned tuna. You'll use this treat to lure your cat towards you. Start by getting your cat's attention with the treat. Hold it out, but don't let them have it just yet. As your cat approaches, clearly and firmly say the command, come. The goal is to make your cat associate the command with the action of moving towards you. Once your cat reaches you, reward them with the treat and a lot of praise. Cats respond well to positive reinforcement, so make sure to express how proud you are of them. This will encourage them to repeat the behavior in the future. Now comes the crucial part of the training, repetition. The come command is not something your cat will master overnight. It requires patience and consistency. Repeat the process multiple times a day gradually increasing the distance between you and your cat. But remember to keep training sessions short and fun. Cats can easily get bored or frustrated if a session drags on for too long. Also, don't forget to use the command in real life scenarios. Call your cat to come when it's mealtime, playtime, or even when you just want some cuddle time. The more you use the command, the more your cat will understand what it means. Lastly, remember to be patient. Some cats may pick up the command faster than others, and that's okay. The important thing is to stay positive and keep trying. And there you have it. That's how you teach your cat the come command. With time and consistency, soon, your cat will come running when you call. Now that we've walked through the steps, it's time for you to start training your cat. We embarked on a journey today, exploring how to train your feline friend to perform basic commands and tricks. We've learned that it's not just about the tricks, it's about the connection and communication between you and your cat. So let's take a moment to go over what we've covered. Firstly, we delved into the importance of getting started. We learned that it's crucial to create a calm and comfortable environment for your cat. It's all about patience and understanding that every cat learns at its own pace. Rushing them or forcing them to learn will only create stress and anxiety. Then, we moved on to our first command, sit. This command is a great way to get your cat's attention and direct their behavior. The key is to use a treat or toy as a lure moving it slowly over their head until they naturally fall into a sitting position. Always remember to reward them with the treat or toy after they've successfully performed the command. Our next command was high five, a fun trick that also helps to build trust. This trick involves rewarding your cat whenever they touch your hand with their paw. The trick is to hold a treat in your hand and wait for your cat to paw at it. Once they do, give them the treat and say high five. Lastly, we learned the come command. This command can be useful in many situations and is essential for their safety. It involves using a treat or toy to encourage your cat to come towards you. Always reward them once they've successfully come to you. Throughout the training process, it's important to remember that positive reinforcement is key. Rewarding your cat for their successes, no matter how small, will encourage them to continue learning. Remember, training your cat is about more than tricks. It's about spending quality time together. Happy training!